been counted with many blessings in the family my dad raised. All the love we shared through the years has come back to me in many ways. And today, my mind flashed back to my childhood days. I recall my first day of school and how much it hurt my dad to see me start off in patched up blue jeans. But dad, today that's the style. My boy won't go anywhere without his patched up jeans. They're old and faded, and they look like they've never been cleaned. And I remember Sunday school. Now I'd get mad when you'd make me go. But now I can see why that was so important to you. Because we prayed together and we stayed together. Now, my dad was a man that knew his own mind. And I remember when he'd call us all together. And he'd say, family, it's love and time. His world was built around mom and the four kids they raised. And I can still see the smile that always came on mama's face each time dad would say the table grace. The house was filled with lots of noise. But when we got too loud, dad would always say, oh, those devilish boys. There was three of us. The fourth was a girl. Well, you know, Dad had a choice, a favorite that is. But he'd say, I love one just as much as I love the other. Oh, would you look at her? She looks just like her mother. I've heard a lot of other people talk about my dad and talk about the things that he'd done when he was young. Because I might be a little bit prejudiced, but he was the best in the county when it came to a contest in games. Because he could outrun, outbox, outshoot any of the professionals that came to town. Now, my dad was a good man. And his family came first. And he did his best for us. And I know sometimes he worked till it hurt. The depression wasn't an easy time. A dollar a day was the pay back then. And I remember my dad leaving the house before daybreak and walking 14 miles to get to work without being late. Oh, I guess everyone remembers the good times and the bad. Good times were happy, bad times were sad. And when I do something wrong, he'd straighten me out with his hand or a belt out behind the house. But now, Mama didn't raise her voice or fuss when we get out of hand. She'd just say, now that's enough. And if we didn't obey, She'd tell Dad what was wrong, and without a question, Dad would lay it on. While we picked cotton, chopped cotton, stacked hay, pulled corn, well, that's the way we made a living back then on the farm. But things are different now, because it's like a new world we're living in. Everything's a mad rush, not enough time for friends. And when I think of my dad, it makes me proud, you see, because he gave so much of himself to make life easier for me. Now, not everyone as lucky as I am to have a father who wanted the best for me out of life. And now when I hear a church bell chime, it's almost like my dad said, family, it's loving time. So why don't you go to your dad right now and tell him you love him? And I'll bet you a dollar against a dog biscuit that it will mean more to him than any gift that money could ever buy. Because, you know, you can't ever repay him for all the things he's done for you. And the best way I know to let him know is just say, Daddy, I love you. Sweet, 
walking. Does cheating mean my daddy don't play right? Does gossip mean they're lying while they're talking? Does two-timing mean that daddy stepped out twice? Ladies, man, mean daddy's a sissy. Mom, don't step on out mean daddy took a walk. Does stepping out mean daddy went out walking? I just can't understand this kind of talk. He's working. Tonight I'm back at our old table 
in our favorite hideaway, where we used to laugh and dance and hear those happy fiddles play. But the love that she once had for me couldn't stand the test of time. Now the fiddles once so happy seem to know that she's not mine. Hear those sad violins playing softly just for me, and their crying strings just fit the mood I'm in. I don't hear the happy fiddles that used to play for her and me. Now all I hear is sad violins.